What the heck is that? Is that mold? What the hell? That looks like a worm or something. I don't recommend doing this. Mm, a pimple to be. Hmm, I'll be seeing you soon. My mid 20s are hitting me hard. Hello there and welcome to Beauty Busters, where we test our internet beauty to see if it's a poop, a whoop, or a baby baby. Meaning it may work for some people and it may not work for other people today. We are doing something very cool. So today we're going to be testing out expired makeup versus new makeup because honey, did you know that makeup expires? You can actually find out when your makeup is going to expire by looking at these little numbers and with an M next to it, every single product has it. So I'm moving this week and so I started declaring cluttering and cleaning out all of my stuff. And by the way, if you haven't checked out the vlog channel, moving vlogs are on point over there on Natalie and Dennis show. If you would like to see more behind the scenes of my life and all that jazz, you can check it out down below in the description. All right, so step one for this experiment, we're gonna be decluttering. We're gonna be cleaning. And welcome to an improv tour of my makeup room. There's the makeup right over there. Here we got the stash of old makeup, literally more stash of old makeup, and just a bunch of old makeup over here. By the way, I just uploaded a house tour over on the vlog channel, Natalie and Dennis Show. I know you guys have been asking me since I moved in here. It's been two years, now I'm moving out. I do apologize, but it's up and running if you guys wanna check it out. If you'd like to see it, the link will be down below in the description. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab all this old makeup. All right, all the old makeup is here, and now for the testing. Old makeup right here. Step two of this process, we are going to actually apply the expired versus the new makeup. I already used that expired makeup, so this ain't nothing new. I'm really curious to see what the new makeup will feel like and smell like. Things are gonna get weird, okay? And for step three, oh, of course, my favorite part. I actually wanna examine this up close and personal baby with the microscope. I got myself my little microscope. Yeah. Yes, this is a mighty microscope, and we are gonna be looking deep inside that old makeup to see if there's crust, there's hairs, there's all that, you know, weird internet uh -huh. beauty stuff. Time to observe this madness. <laughs> For foundation, I'm using Fenty Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Wow, this does look really different. Ew, honey, what is that? Take a look at that. What's going on there? I don't know, but that's old. And this is new. So according to the packaging, and this is good for only 12 months, so I don't really know how I wanna do this. I don't know if I wanna try the makeup first and then look at it in the microscope so I don't get that grossed out, <laughs> or just like put it on and get my reaction as well. All right, I'm gonna pull up my sleeves, baby, and we going in. So as far as the old one, all right, crusty as hail. So that is what a good two year old foundation knob looks like. Still applies like just as nice as I remember it. Ew, look at those hairs for me. What the heck is that? Wait, what the heck is that? Are you guys seeing this? Is that mold? What the hell? That looks like a worm or something. What is that? It looks like a freaking alien. All right, so I am bringing in a biomedical science student, graduate in biotech. Hi. Dennis, what does that look like right there to you? Dirt. Wait, and there's like another one like casually forming on the side. Okay, I'm all right, you know what? It is what it is. Whatever, I'm just gonna apply it out. Also, let's just take a look at my old beauty blender. It's not washed, granted. I don't really even know what I'm seeing in here. It looks beautiful. There's some twinkles like Edward from Twilight. When you get yourself a new beauty blender, God damn, a beauty blender is just like the most beautiful invention ever created. It looks like little salt beautifulness. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna apply this foundation on. All right, and now for the new Fenty. Let's check it. Oh, it did seem to come out a little thicker. Let's see if there's any weird bubbles up in here. It actually looks like it's kind of like separating a little. But yeah, no weird bubbles, just thickness. Oh yeah, this is way thicker. Dude, this is way thicker. Yeah, that other one's expired. Now I get it, makeup. I'm also testing out a new beauty blender. <laughs> it's so amazing. And then this happens. I feel like I have more product because of the new Beauty Blender. And they are both the same color. Okay, I want a little sneak peek, but I'm curious to see what the makeup is gonna look like at the end of this video, like all of it. I don't recommend doing this. Oh my God. If you wanna feel insecure, put this microscope up to your face. What the heck? I have so many holes on my face. Mm, a pimple to be. Hello, Sandra. 
Hmm. I'll be seeing you soon. And the other side? Damn, I look old. My mid-twenties are hitting me hard. All right, next product. Okay, wow, that's pretty. Ignore the difference in colors. Regardless, dude, what happened to this one? The ingredients shrunk. It's old as hell. Look how beautiful. In my chest, take that look. So I'm gonna take my finger and try to get anything. Oh my God, dude, this is old. Oh my God, this is like dried up clay. Wow. It doesn't work, look at that. Granted, at least it's a product that you are like, oh, okay, I gotta get a new one because it doesn't work. Wow, this feels like Elmer's glue on my eyeballs. Okay, so that was kind of the best I could do, honestly, you guys, like I can't really spread it much. Ew, that's what it looks like on my fingers. Old and crusty, man, like me. And this is what it looks like in the microscope. Dude, that is some crusty, Primer. How long have I had this for? Like it literally shrunk. Well, that's embarrassing. Ew, there's a hair there. Ew! What the heck? Why can't I see that hair in real life? Oh, that's just a crack. Dude, there's so many hairs here. Wait, what is that? Another piece of mold? Oh my God. Anyways, my eyeball is gluing shut right now. Like literally. Literally my lashes are sticking to this old primer. That's expired. All right, so now let's look at this gorgeousness. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so smooth and just amazing. I could dent it. Oh, I did. Oh my God, that's so smooth. Literally, look at that. That's so smooth. All right, well, I'm excited to put this one on. Oh, amazing. Aside from the fact that I dented it because it's literally so smooth, look at the way this just blends. Yeah, I'm seeing something here. Obviously my eyeshadows are gonna blend like no one's business. This is so pretty. And it's not even eyeshadow. <laughs> it's just a primer. All right, the primer is on. That took zero effort on this side, a lot of effort on this side, and my eyelashes are still gluing shut. All right, as far as eyeshadow, I had to go with the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. Now, honestly, I feel like my oldest legit palette is my Naked Palette, but I can't find it anywhere. Like that book color, I used you to the gods. So this is what this one looks like. I've barely, honestly, touched it. Like it's barely been used, but I don't have any other like old, old palettes. This is probably my oldest one. And it smells still like chocolate. Oh, it smells amazing. Wait, it smells a little assy, but kind of amazing. I don't know. And now for my brand new chocolate palette. Woo, baby. Still smells kind of assy, but still a little bit chocolatey. I kind of like it, it's still good. So for this one, I actually wanted to go for Coco Truffle on old. It still blends like a dream. Now, how good it is for me, I don't know. So this is what it looks like, a minimal effort. It honestly looks just as great. I can blend it beautifully and the primer under didn't do that bad, okay? Now for my brand, wow, I totally messed up. I used the new one on this one. Wow, I am, okay. Okay, I'm gonna start over. Okay, so let's see. Wow, that's really bad. Like I actually never noticed how much of a difference it made to have new eyeshadows versus like old ones. Wow, this honestly blends like a dream. So if you ever think you're getting bad at your makeup but you're using your favorite palette, think again, honey. it might just be expired. Wow, that literally took no effort. Wow, that makes a difference, dude. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the gold dipped and I'm just gonna apply that on. Still looks really pretty. Unless it's just all in my head now. <laughs> Blend again. Okay, pretty good. All right, and now for the new one. Texture wise, it does feel a lot smoother. Obviously, it's a new eyeshadow. But does it look brighter? I think so. Does it look brighter, you guys? Comment below, because I feel like I might be playing tricks on my head. Oh my God, I think it looks brighter. Take a look. All right, so just comparing the eyeshadows, this is the old gold one. Dude, this is, this is beautiful. You are beautiful in every single, oh, but what are those little things? I don't know if those are like, I don't know what that is. Is that mold? Is that insects? Something crawling out? Or is it just my imagination? But I feel like I'm seeing things like a little lizard up there moving. Oh my God. Let's see this one. Nothing too weird about this one, I'd say. It always looks like there's eyes. All right, versus a new one. Wow. That looks beautiful. That looks so pretty. 
next product. So I know this is kind of out of order, but I'm dying to try out this blush because this is probably the oldest product I have in here. This is janky and this only says 24 months. I've had this for a very long time. I think I've had this since I was in ninth grade. That was 2009. It still works great. I don't know why I haven't bought a new one. I'm cheap like that. It's pretty crusty. Oh, wow. Still swatches beautifully. It might look a little chalky actually. And now for the brand new one. Oh my God. Literally, this is my favorite blush ever. I don't know why I have not tried this before. So pretty. It's still kind of beautiful chalky. To take a closer look, this is what the new one looks like. Oh, that is just gorgeous, darling, gorgeous. That is so pretty, like literally just little iridescent specks in there. So pretty, it kind of looks like flesh though. And now for the old one, this is what it looks like. It just looks a little brownie, a little doo doo -y. Probably because I always put my foundation on first and then my blush. There's probably some residue left there, but I don't really see much of a difference, to be honest. Oh, they smell different. This one smells kind of nicer. The old one smells like vanilla. This one smells chemically, like, I don't know, like chalky and just chemically. Plus, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I'm always scared that like a brand will change its formula because it happens all the time. And then you're like, oh, but I love that formula. Oh, that does have a pretty highlight though. This one's a little more subdued, but do you see that? Is it just me? Possibly. Wow, oh my God, this is so old. Even the Milani came out of it. All right, so I'm feeling a little washed out, so I'm gonna go in with contour. I used to use this like no one's a business. This is the Fit Me Maybelline Foundation Shine Free Balance in the darkest color, coconut. Wow, I used the crap out of it. This is what like a new, oh, actually they don't give you much product, honey. Oh, what the heck? This is how I used to use it. Oh my God, I feel like such an amateur. Actually, no, not much has changed, guys, to be honest. It's not one of my favorites, but it's a good drugstore alternative, I guess. Also, if you have dry skin, it's quite nice because it helps you blend it easily. And now this side. Oh my God. All the expired foundations smell a lot better than the new ones. And I think there's a reason for that. I think like, you know, I've used the bejesus out of this, so it kind of captures like a scent. Granted, it doesn't smell so much like chemicals unless you start to observe the difference. That's a sharp line. Mm -hmm. That's so pretty. I actually forgot how much I love this product. So these are both sides. Clearly not that great of a blender, but it looks okay. All right, take a closer look at this little baby boy. All right, so this is my old one. Let's take a look. Holy heck, there is a lot of hairs up in there. Ew, dude. Ew. This looks kind of old. Their hair is up in here. This is such an old product. Usually these types of bronzers or sticks only last for like 12 months. Ew, that is nasty, girl. Girl, what are you putting on your face? There's Jupiter's hair. Mm hmm. Actually, I see that one. I can just take that one off. Oh my God. It's so nasty. Oh my God, there's so many holes and so many hairs. What's going on here? Oh my God! Ew. <laughs> Why does this look kind of inappropriate? Okay. <laughs> okay, we're good with this one. A brand new one. I don't see any holes. Oh, I do see a hole. Wow, that's a big hole. It kind of looks like it just got cracked in. Wow, and immediately I see hairs. That's crazy. Yeah, there's still like little specks and holes and... Oh my God, that was so satisfying. There should be like a section on YouTube where people remove hairs. Oh, wow, okay. Totally messed up my makeup there. All right, let's move on. For eyeliner, we're using one of my oldies and goodies. Look at the difference in this. Oh my goodness. This is probably like six years old and this is brand new. Oh, this smells just like crayons. This one's losing its smell. There is a lot of glitter on this. My go-to eye is just like a nice bronzy brown eye with glitter. I don't know what all these little red marks are. I'm gonna turn this around a little bit. This is janky. Yeah, this is an oldie. Hopefully it still works just as fine. All right, this is how it writes. Still got it. It's a little waxy but for the most part, it's pretty good. Now for the new one, just prepare, oh my God, this is just so pristine. 
just so gorgeous. Amazing. Look at that wood. All right, as far as how this one swatches, oh baby, that's smooth. Even like brushing it, it's so nice. Oh my God, dude, that is so smooth. Let's try this out. <laughs> this is how I used to do my eyeliner. Wow, that looks kind of bad. All right, that's okay. We got it. Obviously this one's sharpened and is gonna look a lot nicer. Oh my God, it's just so much darker and finer and just, oh, it just broke. Oh my goodness, this one is just so creamy to the point where I overly extended this and my makeup looks so bad right now. A very thick, sharp line. As you can see with the expired one, it's just really chalky. It's tough to move, maneuver and spread around. This one's just really amazing. A little bit goes a long way, guys. So sadly with mascara, it usually only lasts six months. So I'm gonna be using the Kush Milk Makeup. Uh, it's not one of my favorites, but it is one of the older ones that I have because I go through mascaras like no one's business. This is what it looks like right now. Pretty nice. I ended up getting the little sample one of the Milk Mascara. It smells nice. Ooh. The expired one has a little bit of like a decay. Raw any. As far as the wands, it looks like they're pretty much the same, but as you can see, this one is just a lot more chunky in the best way. This one is a little bit more put together, kind of like stale. As far as the mascara, I actually prefer the older mascara, surprisingly. I just feel like that tackiness makes my eyelashes look a little bit longer. With the new one, I kind of have to try a little bit harder for it to stick. But as far as the difference, there's not really much of a difference, if you can see. So I know that I'm doing my makeup routine a little bit out of whack and it might be annoying some of you, I'm sorry. But it's just that there's some products that I'm like, okay, this is gonna look very strange if it's really old. This is one of the oldest products that I have and this is Max Velvet Teddy. It is one of my favorite lipsticks by MAC. Here it is. That's how much I used that one up. But I have to say, this is the same one. Check this out. You know what, they told me they didn't change the formula, but dude, it looks so different. Like, what the heck? This one has a special place in my heart because it was one of the first higher end lipsticks I ever bought for myself. Wow, I literally used this one to the T. Like, this one's done, it's done. Oh my God, there's like a bunch of hairs, yuck. Oh my God, look at that texture. That is a good seven years of using this. Look at that. Oh, honey, where did that come from? All right, I'm gonna tweeze that out. Okay, I just kind of poked it out, to be honest. And then the new one, it is so pretty, so gorgeous. This has not been touched once, but girl, this is not the right color. Like, this is not the same color. No sorry. Okay, so excuse my hairy arms. So this is what the old one looked like. Honestly, this lipstick still holds up after many, many years. I love it so much. And then this is the new one, which is not the same color. They cannot lie to me. It's like creamier, yeah. It's not that great. Actually, I don't know, maybe the color changed. I don't remember this being so purple. It's such a pretty color though, I still love it. I can't really apply this anymore, it's done. Look at the color, it's so different. It just, oh my God, did it just change on me? All right, let's flash back to one of the videos that I actually had this in one of my favorites when I first started YouTube. Let me know down below in the comments which of these you think most resembles that color. It's playing tricks on me. Colors don't look so different, honestly. This one's just a little more pinky. I still like this one more. Okay, All right, so I know I totally messed up. Concealer is next. This one, wow, it smells so different than what I'm used to. So I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Medium Honey. I have had this for maybe like a year now, and according to statistics, concealer should only be used for a whole year. So even the color looks, looks a little different, honestly, and this one looks a little more gray, this one looks a little more pink. But what actually surprised me, because I use this almost every single day, is the smell of this. It smells like lotion or perfume. Maybe they just changed up the formula. Ooh. Oh my God, this smells like dollar makeup. <laughs> How did I not notice? Oh girl, girl. Once again, what do we have? What do we have here? What do we have here? A bunch of hairs. Girl, am I that hairy? Like, are you serious right now? Ew, this looks really nasty. Let's see, the old one. All right, yep. Yeah. It's nice and smooth. Oh my God, that's just weird with my hairs. There's the new one. No hairs yet. 
And there's that. Honestly, I can't really tell a difference. Okay. Oh, I just can't get over the smell. This honestly smells like paint. Sorry that I'm doing my makeup so wrong, you guys. It feels the same though. I can't really tell a difference. I really can't tell a difference other than the color of this. It really makes me feel like this is past due. Interesting. So usually I feel like this concealer sits a little bit more into my lines and it hasn't as much. And now for this one. It honestly resembles a lot like the primer. It's more difficult to blend. Because it is more difficult to blend, I feel like this actually turns out to be brighter. I don't know, what do you guys think? Which do you prefer? I feel like I look botched. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I actually ended up finishing up the highlighter. However, the camera died on me. I still think the new one looks a lot more vajavazam. Pretty. <laughs> it looks more luminous than the old one. So in conclusion, as far as like makeup, whether expired or new is better, honestly, I think it's kind of like a maybe baby. I'd love to know from you guys down below if you can even tell a difference. But you know, I will say there's a reason why they do put expiration dates on makeup, just like with food, just like with anything. They're clearly, you know, after some time, things change and science happens and um, you know, you are less prone to bacteria and possibly germs and maybe even like acne and stuff like that. I mean, I don't really know for a fact. I haven't tried it out or tested out that long. But I definitely know that from now on, I'm gonna be checking my products, making sure that they're up to date, even if it means splurging on a new tape shape while well, this one is still good. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Also, you guys, there's a bunch of movie vlogs right now happening over on Natalie and Dennis show if you guys wanna check it out or if you just wanna see a little more behind the scenes on like everything, life, production, my marriage, everything, you guys can check it out over on Natalie and Dennis show. We are uploading so much and I'm having honestly so much fun with it. As always, if you're not a part of the family, please be sure to subscribe and turn those post notifications on so that you're one of the first to get a notification when my videos go live. Also, I'm doing a giveaway right now. It is amazing. I'm giving away an iPad mini and Beats headphones. It's pretty rad, pretty awesome. All you have to do is just follow the link down below. It's super simple to enter, tell all your friends. And if you like these types of videos, as always, give it a thumbs up. You can always connect with me on Instagram and Twitter and let me know what other beauty busters you want me to bust. As always, don't forget to live weird or die normal. I love you, bye.